everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the important super important question of the module 1 ACA which is regarding the multiprocessor very important question 10 marks question so make sure you know this concept very well what are the key points what are the important diagrams everything I'll be discussing in this video so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and without wasting any time let's get started the first uh, concept is uh, what are the different types of process and the multiprocessors and we have to explain with a neat diagram okay so uh, process and multiprocessors both are the same things you just have to explain what are the different types in it we'll have a multi processor inside that different types of processor will be there okay that's all what is the, the concept behind it so we'll be discussing the multi processors first and inside that we'll be having some process we'll be discussing that as well so there are two categories that's the first key point you have to keep in mind for the multi processors the first one is shared memory and second is distributed memory which are the two multi processors shared memory and distributed memory so what is uh, happening in the shared memory in the shared memory what we have is there are three different kinds of memories and all will be sharing a single space okay there is a space here and all the memories will be sharing one single global space okay that is what is a shared memory it can vary widely but they have general common characteristics and the ability to all the processors to access one uh, single space and they can operate independently it's not required that they have to be dependent on each other they'll be operating independently just that they'll be accessing one single space okay these are the two key points and third key point is whatever the changes are being made that is visible to everyone obviously because in the same space we are making changes it will be visible to all the processors in uh, around it right and let's have a look at the three different types of process which is the UMA, NUMA and COMA. What is UMA? Uniform memory access. In uniform memory access, we'll be having different uh, processes. They'll be accessing the same memory. That is called as uniform memory access. Next is non-uniform memory access. Here we'll be having different process for a single memory and they'll not be accessing same memory, but nevertheless, they'll be connected with each other using a bus technology. And final is the COMA. COMA means in the in these memories, we'll be using the cache instead of distributed memory. Distributed memory in the previous ones we had used but they will be converted to cache and then uh, they will be used okay and there is no memory hierarchy at each processor node all the caches form a global space in global space everything will be accessed that is the main key concept in the shared memory which you have to write moving on to the second one for the distributed memory what is in the distributed memory is that memory is distributed among many uh, seg uh, segments okay they are the same as shared memory but just the difference is that here uh, the systems require a communication to connect with each other uh, memories okay like the interprocessor memory they have to have the some connection and the connection is as follows we'll be having separate cpu for each memory and the cpus and the memories will be connected with each other that is called as the distributed uh, memory system and each of the processor will have their lo own local memory for each of the processor there will be some memory which it will be uh, accessing like for example this is the processor which is cpu and it has its own separate memory here also the same thing is there and all these things are same just that they are interconnected using a uh, bus technology and uh, another thing is that it, the memory address in one processor do not map to another processor. They are independent of each other. There is no mapping. Mapping means if you have a common space in between, all the processors will be accessing the same global space that is called as mapping. But in this case, there is no mapping because there is no concept of global space across all processors. Every, everyone will be having uh, independent memory. That's the second key point. Moving on to the third key point, you have uh, for each processor, there will be a single local memory. Okay, like processor and the memory. Just remember the diagram. It will be uh, sufficient for you. It operates independently obviously because same um, memory has its own processor so it will be operating independently and changes which we uh, make on the memory it is not visible across all these things why because there is a uh, there is a lack of global space which in which every concept can be seen so since there is no uh, global space it is uh, what are the changes are being made in the local memory it is not possible to be seen in some other uh, memory spaces uh, hence the concept of cache coherence does not apply cache coherency means whatever is happening in the cache the changes all will be coherent across all the caches that does not apply everyone is independent in this case okay and when a processor need to access another data it usually accesses it using some synchronization between a task which is a programmer's responsibility you cannot directly access as there is no single connection between them okay so uh, we have the three generations at last you have to write in the first generation we use the board technology second generation we use the mesh computed architecture and third generation we use fine grain architecture and this is called as a fabric of uh, multi-programming and uh, that is what is called ethernet and basically that's all make the diagrams and explain the different categories and the functions in each of these what are the key points in that i've uh, explained uh key, um, note down these all key points and uh, write in the script that's all for this video make sure the like button subscribe for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one